World 3, Luigi. World 3, we're already here. World 3, World 3, let's do this. Welcome back everybody, we are World 3, Sparkling Waters, and the first uh, level. Luigi. Damn, we should have equipped the fucking mini mushroom. Just run on this water. Oh, and you like swimming. We'll try to be considerate. Mind to not fucking be considerate. Y'all watching this, so I ain't gonna be considerate. You, you be considerate of me. Yeah, you be going, through, going through this bullshit. <laughs> For the sake of entertainment. I, I was kind of caught with him, like my own words and stuff. I'm gonna get out of here. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Ah, we should have went to Wait, wait, let me get that! You suck, Luigi. I'm sorry, I like seeing my L. Yeah, you take it. Give me the Mario! Mario! That's I wish I had the Right here. We some dogs. Double one ups every round. Double one ups. Well, I got 26 lives. I need to have 100 because I'm a boss. 100? I know if you get to like 99 lives. Well, I know this is in the Wii version. If you get to like 99 lives, you play with them as, with their hats off. I wouldn't see why they wouldn't bring it over. Because for all the purposes, besides some added new content, it's just a port of the Wii U version. I'm not looking forward to that ghost level. No, I hate ghost levels. I hate underwater levels too. I'd rather get this out the way. I, I can deal with ice physics because I can just use that with my momentum. But water levels, there's nothing. Like, you just swim. Is the penguin swim in this game? Yeah, it's getting the night one. getting the ice one, actually. It's kind of funny because. In in most games, like adventure, like platform and like speed games, like Sonic or like Mario, I don't like desert levels at all. Especially in Sonic games, I don't like desert levels. Yeah, they don't got a really good track book. Man. Uh, what, what do we think? What two D Sonic game? What's the one in I think Sonic Three? It's dark as all hell, and there's these ghosts there. You gotta turn on the lights and the ghosts don't hurt you. They'll get more aggressive if you the lights off. Hey, no, y'all, I'm pretty sure Sonic is what I'm talking about. Well, that level kind of sucks. And. We get Lost World, how it doesn't bug me. I'm just kind of open and plain, to say the least. Fucking Sonic 06. Sonic 06. Dusty no. Desert. That shit was trash. I mean, that game is trash, but that's not the point. That level was really bad. Especially like, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Must we bring up the billiard puzzle? That was really much. Billiard. Billiard, billiard, billiard. Same difference. I hate that saying <laughs> so much. Because <laughs> I know what it's supposed to be, but it just sounds so stupid. It's not like a double negative. Wow, it, it wasn't a, not a double negative, but just a contradiction. It's a contradictory statement. You know, I was thinking, like, I was thinking about if Mario could drown. I forgot he does not drown. They should have brought back in the frogs. Suit. In certain games, certain games they make they make him feel like drowning. Other games he might just you know be underwater indefinitely. Nah, 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 <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Let's just go back up. Uh, since you can't, I'm pretty sure that's probably supposed to be like a, a star somewhere. You can't kill him on regular. Yeah, you like have teams. to. There's there's something about that, and I I know because I remember when I played this game before. There's a way to get it, and I forgot. I hate this one. Oh, that was a nigga move. I don't remember that nigga. Uh, yeah, you can be a nuke all the same. Okay, fine. I hate underwater levels. I do. I hate it. I just hate it in Mario games, mostly. Sonic games, like, 
I just hate it because you know, it never works. I hate it because I hate it in Mario games because it kind of well not Mario but Sonic games because uh, he's supposed to be a speed character and anybody don't need to be reminded of Labyrinth Zone which is like the worst zone in Sonic One because you go so fucking slow it's underwater and the boss in there kind of sucks too because kind of like a chase him up while you are not trying to drown I just. Uh, I mean, you can incorporate a Sonic game with water that I don't really have to swim through. Like, that's why I'm kind of happy throughout, like, my, uh, Sonic's progression, he's learned how to run on water. <laughs> Give me just a game where I run on water the entire time. And that, 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 uh, well, not a game, but a level. Then I'll be okay. I wouldn't mind it that much. I got one. Oh, I'm gonna hit you nothing. Yeah, at the very least, the coins. Oh, I got a Bowser. You got a Bowser, Bowser, no, I'm gonna count them out. I'm kind of pantsed to your screen down there, so like I'm not pantsed to over here. I don't think we got anything. I think we got some. I think we got at least two. I think we got one. Oh, we got three. Oh. See, Luigi, stop doubting. Stop doubting, Luigi. You're such a hater. A hater? Are you sure that's the right word to use there? Yes. <laughs> no. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't want to go to that ghost shit. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> we skip the ghost level. No, we cannot skip the ghost level. Oh my god. Listen, we're already not 100% in the game. I was going to do every level. Oh, oh I was going to say, where the fuck are we supposed to go? <laughs> oh my god. It is the water one. I'm not watching for the ice water. Doing that every that's gonna be my running gag at a playthrough. <laughs> but nah, I um, yeah, I still hate water levels. Oh, the peace. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, by the way, I I did have plans on uploading, like, Saints Row 3 Remaster uh, with someone, but, fuck, uh, Brandon wants to play, but, Brandon be working. I'm trying. Oh, fuck. I be trying to upload on days he be able. So, when Chris, Chris is, well, we're, we're supposed to play the PS, the P, the PC version. We're supposed to play the PC version, but there's definitely, there, no, there's, there's definitely something here. There, there's definitely something. There ain't shit. Supposed to play the PC version, but when I was, when we tried to record it, the fucking, um, something's wrong with the controller compatibility. And yes, I'm a controller player on PC. I don't care. So, uh, you know, F's in the chat or whatever. But, um. Wait, you didn't jump out? No. But yeah, so, you know, when they. When it gets patched, like, for some reason. Because they it, the game is controller compatible. It's just for some reason not registering my controller whenever I hook up my controller. So whenever that gets like patched or I just find a way to play with the controller because I don't have I don't have desk desk space so I don't can't really do nothing. About that. I have like no desk space seeing as I just got a PC so freaking um you know whatever that gets figured out I'll definitely upload a playthrough of that because I want to actually really play that I want to play I haven't played Saints Row in so long. 
My favorite one is still two, but three is just fun because of this mechanics and things. I, I do want to go play three too. I think just two. Like I never played one, but two I think it's had a, a great story. It had a great story. It had a mix of a good story, some comedy, and action. Like it's not it's, it's something that you don't have to take seriously, but then you know the moments when they do kind of like wind down or where shit get real, you kind of feel it. Two is for real. That's some real shit. Like that's what I kind of miss. It. I don't know why. I don't know what happened to Saints Row, just like, they probably, time went on. People probably, I'm pretty sure probably, uh, all these that like, complain like, oh, this is being too much like GTA in a way. I'm like, uh, like, the, my motto for any video game, honestly, is that as long as you make it original, you can have similarities. Like, uh, at the time of this upload, you know, we got the PS5 that, that came out, and, you know, I'm happy to see Sackboy come back to another game. But I, you know, me, I, I, I know it does kind of like another version of Super Mario, like uh, Mario Land, or 3D, uh, Mario 3D Land. But it's okay because I still feel like there's enough mechanics that they put inside the game so I don't feel like I'm just playing a lesser Mario game that came out a while back. You know, they have all some of the staples they have for like all the, the previous three games. So as long as your game is original enough to where I feel like I'm just, it's not like, you know, just getting, you know, getting a carbon copy and it has its own identity, then I can really care about this. You know, I think Saints Row was, I think Saints Row 2, for an example, was actually a good game, again, because of, you know, ETA always has that, you know, gritty type of I think personality. Saints Row, I think Saints Row has its own identity, because I don't think in GTA, other than like, what, San Andreas, you weren't really running a game. That's basically what you're doing in Saint, well, Saints Row 2 through the rest. Saints Row 1, you're, that's basically, you're, you're just... You're getting the game. <laughs> yeah, you're getting, you're, you're, you're getting initiated in the game, basically. But, like, I think the rest were just, like, I don't know, I like, like, I like Saints Row 2. I, I, I like, I, a lot of people don't, like, stop liking at 3. I personally think 3 is my personal favorite. I'm not saying it's the best. But three is just my personal favorite, cause no, no nothing. Oh, bitch. Oh, that means three is another. We gotta go another way. I remember this other one. Yeah, it's okay. It's like four-ish. Let's try. Okay, that, that's it. But, but what was the thing? Oh, fuck. Yeah, wait. Let me get this. Ooh, more words. Um. You know what? Drown. Did we, come from here? we did come from here, but since it was a fake accident, we probably have to go back for a second. Yeah, it's over here. It's somewhere over here. Um, we can't get in there. Um, I think. Yeah, okay. What? That's a star thing, right? Okay, at least I have the right idea of what we're looking for. So let's, let's see. Oh, bitch. Oh, oh bitch. Oh, oh, something. But, um, what was the sign? Oh, Saints Row 3 is like, I said Saints Row 3 was my personal favorite. Um, I'm, like I said, I, I don't, I'm not trying to say it's the best, but it's just like, I don't know. I like, I, I, 3 felt like it was trying to be over the top a little bit, but like, I didn't mind it. Like, I think. There's not too many things in 3 that happened that actually yes there is. I'm about to say, you don't you go inside of a computer world at one point in that game? You do go inside a computer world. I was about to say, like... But it's, it's like, it's supposed to be like VR. Like, it's, it's I, th I think it's supposed to, supposed to be like VR. I think with Saints Row 3, my first, I, it, it, it's still, I love playing that game. And it's over the top, but I feel like it also tries to, it don't try to take itself too seriously. Like, Saints Row 2, I like because it's a good game, because you can take it seriously, but it also still has that comical aspect about it that made it still whimsical in a way. Saints Row 3 kind of loses the seriousness, but not in like a bad like way. It's still very fun to play. It's still like, it still has an engaging story because, you know, you may not be running a gang like you used to, but at least, you know, you, you got like, what, you want to like an like, international Star at that point. Yeah, Saints Row 3. Saints Row 3 is like, um, so like from Saints Row 2, the Saints, you know, they basically took over Stillwater. 
And um, they basically took over Stillwater and they basically, yeah, became like international celebrities. Not international, so they're like, I, I, I think it's, it's like, it's kind of believable just in a sense of like, let's say like if you're like, it's like a movie. Like if you're running, okay. <laughs> Hey, wait, I don't think that was worth it. I kind of like Baby Yoshi. Regular Yoshi. <laughs> um, it's like you're kind of... So, like, you graduate from, like, running a game. No, not even running a game. So, it's like you took your... Like, your, the power you had, you just used it to make more money. And, like, they're, like, in movies and, like, TV deals. They have, like, their own brand and all type stuff. He knows them. It's just, like, they do dirty shit. Like, I mean, I I think it's actually pretty real in, in the aspect of, like, if somebody's, like, famous and, like, have a lot of power, they just do... And they still do, like, just corrupt shit. I think that's pretty real. Actually, if anything, that thing is more so like the plot of a superhero movie. Almost died to you. But, uh, yeah, I agree. I was listening, but I almost died, <laughs> so I got kind of scared. I kind of got an extra life, honestly. Alright, let's scapegoat this time. I was already at the top. <laughs> If I wasn't that close to the top, he would have been scapegoated. <laughs> so Yoshi gotta earn his keep, huh? Uh, I mean, he do earn his keep. I kind of miss the multiple color color Yoshis. From, yeah, uh, that's weird because I don't know why they're not multicolored in here. Because green Yoshi kind of has his own little personality to him that makes him different from other Yoshis. But nah, freaking, um... But yeah, so like, I... Ooh. Um, I, I... I like three. I just like three. I like Saints Row 3. So... I don't never. I don't really get a problem. Should speak on something that Saints Row still. The funny thing is, cause I don't, I don't loathe Saints Row for like a lot of people do. Oh, I, I think, I think, I think as a game, it's, it's actually pretty fun. I think the superpower concept is fun in a in gameplay aspect. I think it went left in every other aspect. I think that why are we talking about Saints Row and Mario game? That's pretty funny. Um, I mean, I, listen, we gotta just, we gotta fill the air somehow. I'm more so think just like it just took a, like a complete 180. Like okay, people already thought like in three they were already doing like complete like over the top. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, yeah. Take a flag. I think I think four in my opinion kind of the reason I'm more so more so upset about it because I'm gonna be honest I can kind of get down with the whole concept of the, you know you becoming president eventually you know all the power you have hell no I can get down with because that. how do you vote how do you vote in a game like this ain't this ain't like voting in like Trump this is like vote like you're voting in somebody that you know is a gang leader yeah but Trump got multiple accusations against him and he has like I think almost no type of political background as well so it's like you put somebody in office who don't really know how to run don't don't who doesn't who didn't know the ins and outs of like a running a country at that like I, I don't i don't think he has i think he has very little political background from even being a president I mean, hey that's a whole nother conversation but like it's it's kind of the concept but like it's different though like if you know somebody is like straight like gang affiliated how do you let them become a president that's kind of like i would listen i'm willing to suspend my disbelief for a video like for a video game i'm i'm more willing to suspend my disbelief like that's the same way that you can kind of ask that question about i mean i mean i guess you can find more corrupt celebrities i mean you can find corrupt celebrities too like they was they was celebrities in the third game i mean yeah and no and there's real life corrupt celebrities but like they were people so I, again i can suspend my disbelief for the fourth game if they decide to make him president because at that point who go check you but i mean that's but i think it's kind of different because like in the third in the second game they just took over like the city they didn't take over like the fucking country how does the country a city okay you taking over the city like okay you're you're just basically like the mafia at that point oh like turn it on a lady but i thought that said drag meal something i'm like what <laughs> uh, shout out fairy tale. i thought i believe really <laughs> i would have jumped into a fairy tale game for like a like drag meal what <laughs> but like at, at this point it's like you're like the mafia you're not you're not like you're not like worldwide. Like I don't think any mafia people are, would run for president. Oh, yeah, or, like would expect to get in. I don't think anybody's expecting that. Least. But like people know you for what things you've done. Like they like the Saints are well known. So like and you know your protagonist, big ass. You know what I'm saying? He 
preaches to he preaches about the saints. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know he belongs to this bitch is getting close. So I don't know. I, I just think the whole president thing was just like a really big thing. It, it was, but again, I'm willing to suspend my disbelief for a video game. Like I'm not I'm not crying because he became president, but at the same time I do realize how that could be. That that could pose a problem just in a narrative aspect. <laughs> but uh yeah no but i see where you're coming from because that, that, that doesn't make any logical sense like like you said why no there's no person will be like no mafia leader or not who will run for president especially if it's like a well-known type of mafia game. like who's running for president with that type oh, of background fuck. That the fuck. Oh, fuck. he's coming for why are you coming for me nigga? Probably taste this. Yeah, go for the nigga that got two, two hits. <laughs> but nah, I just, I like, okay, and like this whole supercar stuff, I'm not gonna say it wasn't fun. I mean, it wasn't the funnest, but I would much rather have just had them stuck to like the regular style. To be honest, like it was, it wasn't terrible. I feel like you have to look at Saints Row 4 as just like. A completely different um like you just have to look at it as a whole nother game to enjoy it to me like if you're looking at it as like a sequel so just all the other saints rows then it falls I, really yeah you're not gonna have a fun time if you look at it as its own like standalone thing though i see you can definitely have fun. that's kind of how i feel about the dmc reboot as its own game i still think it's a fun game like yes though it don't it don't have all the traditional conventions that a dmc game may have but i don't think it makes it any less of a fun game like, I, i'll let me put like this i will go back and play that game before i ever go back and play two are you watching the whole thing uh not at all <laughs> oh cool two fire flowers but yeah like i said i'll probably i'll go back and play the dm series before i ever go back and play devil may cry 2 Cause I think as a as its own game, Devil Make DMC Reboot is a very fun game. I think that game got way too much fucking hate than what it deserved. I'm not story 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 aside. I just think that people just was like, this is this is not Dante. I think the only I think the the bad part about it is though, by the time the reboot came out. I think four was a few years old, so and already Devil May Cry four being an incomplete game, it kind of didn't rub everybody right. Like, okay, we bring back our series, but yet at the same time, we bring back the series at the same time. <clears throat> we give characters redesigns, you give us this BS story. You, you kind of, I know some like hardcore fans probably thought it was a spin in the face. Me, I'm a very hardcore. I'm a Devil May Cry stand to, like the my, the, to the end of my goddamn days. The white hair wig joke. Oh my that's god. <laughs> now that, no, that was, I think that was a That it was funny, that, but that I know was. there were some people who probably felt like that was a slap in the face. Like, why would they make a joke about that? We already kind of butchered our very, our very character in our favorite series. Like, and I'm a, I'm a myth. As a fan at the time, I felt the same way. Like, I, I've been, you know, I didn't grow up with the Devil May Cry series. I played it like my freshman year in high school. But I fell in love with it. So when I was here, like, oh, what? Devil May Cry coming back, but then we get this really odd looking reboot with this really funny looking Dante and this really just, 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 just this whole angle. It didn't sit well with me, you know? I, I, I would stand Dante to the day, I, and, and to the day I go to the grave. <laughs> So I, I understand what some people may have felt, but I think as its own game, as its own standalone title, if you don't try to compare it to any other previous one, I think that the reboot is still a fun game to play. I think, I think it's still a fun game too. I think the combat was good. I I would definitely say, and this is quite honestly, I wouldn't say with the exception of like, well, like as a casual person at least, I feel like the reboot was like just easier to grasp than four. And I mean like when I say four, I don't mean like people like virgins. I feel like virgins actually pretty like pretty. I'll say like that's just, that's not that's not a mixed he, word. That's not mixed words here. He's the easiest character in the game to play. Yeah, like that's he, not mixed words. Here. Yeah, he's he obviously is obviously the easiest character in the game to play. Like uh, he's because uh, that because the thing about special edition is that it's not properly balanced. So. Virgil, Lady, and Trish all can be broken in some way. Like, I personally feel like, like I said, I think, um, so yeah, I think Virgil's like the easiest character to play. I just think, uh, with the reboot, I think, I don't think Dante was, was like friendly unless you were like a veteran. I don't think, um, I, th I, th I think Nero was just straight and complete. 
he just felt incomplete. That's why I love him in five. Well, I think I, I think for even veteran pairs, I think Dante was hard to grasp. That's like for Devin Crawford for the first time implementing the style switching thing for the game. So I feel like uh, yeah, even for veteran players, it was. <laughs> yeah, I think for even Bellion Perry was hard to grasp because again, that was the first time they actually implemented style switching in a game. They didn't really switch all your stuff on the fly from the previous game. So, but I'm pretty again, I'm pretty sure people, a veteran player who knew like okay, but I know what Swordmaster does, I know what Trickster does, and so on and so forth. They just had to acquire the muscle memory for that game. Um, as for the reboot, yeah, I said the reboot would definitely easier to swallow as a game. It definitely is well. It doesn't. It doesn't bombard you with a thousand controls. The power ups you get, like that, like I my favorite one. Of, one of my favorite things about the reboot is the fact that I'm totally blanking sometimes. Yeah. But um, is that that when you get like your new weapons, like when you get the Arbiter or the the, the Scythe, I always get the name wrong. He loves that when Yeah. When you, yeah. When you get when you get those weapons, I like how they boot you inside of a you know, uh, level so you can get a feel for it, like with the grapple feel, like the air. Stuff like that. I like how I took up the time to be like, this is a new ability. Now let you let's let's let you have fun with it. Like you know, or let's you get the feel for it, and then we throw you back inside the level per usual. But yeah, that game is definitely easier to swallow. Though I don't like the way Virgil controls in that game. Well, I like the way the controls for that game I, is anyway. I, I say like Virgil. I like um. I like Dante. I, Virgil, of course, is kind of he definitely trash in that game, but. Like, that's another discussion yeah i just yeah it's it's yeah i don't like the controls i don't like the way that game controls period when i, when I say that to me the way they map the controls like it, it kind of screws with veteran players like people who's played the other games because the controls are different the way you launch people the way you do certain things i know when that game first came out they even have a lock on but they added that in the edition oh what the fuck oh i guess we're not ending this here oh wait what the what? fuck niggas got kidnapped Capture yeah, niggas got kidnapped. I the Miney Cannon ship. Oh, okay, we just finna end the part, but uh, oh, onward. <laughs> Let's go, Louis. Oh, this is game. Y'all get another level. You almost called me Louis. Yeah. Except for the Luka, brother. You almost called me a bitch. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Hey! That's what you get. Hey! <laughs> Throw it! Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm ready. <laughs> I kind of have this with that to be a bottomless pit, but I'm like, they wouldn't do that. I ain't gonna be able to say this. Fuck me. Oh, okay, guess I'll die. <laughs> Not why I'm kidding. Stop being a scrub, stop dying. Says the man who just got revived. Sir, there you go. You so fucking lucky. Oh no, I'm not lucky. I don't know All a part of the plan, man. Thank you. You lucky I didn't let go of spray. <laughs> Shit. Is this a boss? I don't I I vaguely remember this. There you go. Bro, I'm tired of these underwater levels. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, my homie homers. I don't need that. I just don't need that. <laughs> That's why I don't like ice. I mean, Firefly went to the end. I guess the only thing, I guess it will. I, I, I like the ice, but I just wish that they would be the more utility like the green one. Again, I know in Galaxy, when you get the flower, you can like, you can run on water. I don't know. You shoot ice balls too, but you can run on water and make a little ice platform below you. Wall jump off the waterfall and stuff like that. In 2D games, I guess the appeal is kind of limited because, you know, it's like, I mean, I, because in all honesty, you are kind of right. It kind of is kind of like a weaker player file in this sense. Yeah, like, so. My, my thing is, it just don't take nobody. I mean, I get, like, you can, like, I think the. Oh, fuck, no. <laughs> oh, I remember this boss. Wait a minute, I remember this. Uh, he's gonna launch out one of those missiles right now. Oh, that was a 
Oh, I see how this can really be stupid with character comparison. <laughs> Why didn't they just explode? They only graze each other. Um, I forgot what the fuck we were just talking about. <laughs> uh, Power Ups, Mario, Fire Flower, Ice Flower. Oh, yeah, Ice Flower. It's just. I think it's cool, like, if like there's one enemy on the trail of multiple enemies, you just freeze the toast block down. I think that's cool. Right, like I said, the, the appeal is limited because the utility is limited in game. Yeah. Or for a 2D game, I would say. I think Dice Flower was in 3D, right? Bitch, you're fast. No. Bro! That means how we played that game, you think I'm lying? <laughs> You know what I forget? You actually can't get contact damage. You just bounce off. So I, I was trying to not hit him, but I'm like, oh wait, no contact damage. Oh, well, that was lovely. Yeah. 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 Ouch, my back. Ah, I'm back. I'm old. I'm old. Hey, hold on, wait. Hold on, wait. Oh, oh. <laughs> I like how they just jumped off the screen <laughs> as it has always been right there. Like, did I just jump off the screen? Cool. So, uh, yeah. Okay, before we go to like, I, I know the next world is like a forest world, but there's like a world we gotta go back to. If you remember from part two. So, so uh, this elongated sequence of showing us the next. Oh, I, uh, I don't like this world. I got uh, insta kill, poison, river what? shit. And, yeah. yeah. I think it was like fire. Uh, I mean, yeah. That's basically what. That's basically what it is. It's just purple. So the next world is uh, the frozen glacier. No. Yeah, the frozen glacier. My bad. Uh, yeah, fast forward. <laughs> fast forward. Fast forward. Well, fast forwarding. This world. <laughs> Frosted glacier. So yeah, so this is gonna be on part three. Uh, oh fuck, there's a ghost house. Um, other than that, guys, uh, you know, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and all that good jazz. Uh, spread the word. Spread the word. Spread the word. Uh, check the description box down below. You know, as I say in every video, or I will start saying in every video at least. Uh, check the description box down below. There's some stuff down there for y'all. You feel me? And uh, other than that, see y'all in the next part. Peace. Peace out. <laughs>